Lead a one-man revolution from your armchair Talking cliches to listeners that aren't there You call it warfare, but your wars aren't fair If they were, they'd be suicide bombers in arms fairs YouTube salute! Flavor Flav confirms public enemy dismissal wasn't about Bernie Sanders Let's talk about it if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So, Public Enemy Radio asserted um, the decision about Flavor Flav leaving the group and not being a part of Public Enemy no more. They had nothing to do with politics. And they posted something on Instagram. I'm going to read it to y'all. Signed by Chuck D, DJ Lord, Ja. Pop Diesel and James Bomb. This is what they said. Public Enemy did not part ways with Flavor Flav over his political views. Flavor Flav has been on suspension since 2016 when he was MIA from the Harry Belafonte benefit in Atlanta, Georgia. That was the last straw for the group. He had previously missed numerous live gigs from um, in Canada and I guess throughout the United States um, recording sessions and photo shoots. He always chose to party over work. Public Enemy Radio toured Europe and co headlined it with the Wu Tang Clan. I remember that last year without Flavor Flav. They also done numerous benefit shows without Flavor. While Public Enemy Radio was moving forward, Flavor Flav was starring on the reality show Growing Up Hip Hop New York. Never seen it. Where an episode featured his children discussing intervention and putting him into rehab it's time to move on everyone wishes flavor flay well wow so that's the statement they said so on tuesday the guardian caught up with flavor flav to confirm his removal from public enemy it wasn't about bernie sanders and this is what flavor had to say i don't have anything against bernie um i think that he's a good person i wish him luck i think they're all good people except trump <laughs> Some people try to say I did this because I'm a Trump supporter and that's not true. Fuck Trump. He also said that why I try to say I'm part of something I'm not part of um, referring to what Chuck D said about him already. And so Favor Flav Legal's team has fired a cease and desist letter to Sanders campaign a move and seal Flav's fate. As they noted in the official statement, Flav has already, has already been on suspension since 2016. Yada, yada, yada. Wow. So, Favor Flav. I'm right with Favor Flav, man. Fuck that shit because y'all motherfuckers built that shit together, man. I don't know why they tripping like this. To me, it don't even sound right. Okay. They trying to make all this excuses saying, oh, this shit's been going on for four years. Beyond that. And they, they just kind of like just moving forward. But you don't kick no motherfucker out the group like that. You talk to him. Y'all supposed to sit down and talk to him. Like, that don't even, that's some, that's some weak ass shit. To me, I don't know what the fuck Chuck D, man. Chuck D is supposed to be like the Malcolm X of hip hop and shit. So for him to do some gay shit like that, like, dude, fuck Bernie Sanders. Fuck all them politicians, man. I'm sucking these motherfucking dicks, dude, for real. Come on, Chuck D, you know fucking better. And Chuck D, it's like, it's a, he's a hypocrite. You never heard a public enemy sponsoring endorsing a fucking presidential um nominee like for real a candidate any politician they would not do that shit at all that was it was against that shit it was like the battle of the bullet what malcolm x said so for you to see some shit like this this shit is ridiculous this shit is asinine i don't know like i said motherfuckers is crazy post your comments below hoax smash black panther the like button subscribe to my channel Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Till next time, peace.